you are aware of these two fundamental forces that is gravitational force and electrostatic force now why electrons revolve around nucleus that is because of this electrostatic force electrons are having negative charge whereas nucleus is having positive charge and therefore they revolve around uh, nucleus now question is that why proton in the nucleus should repel by another proton that is because of electrostatic force like charges repel unlike charges attract and on basis of that this is the answer now imagine that there was iron nail here initially it was falling down because uh, after releasing because it is attracted towards earth by its gravitational force but suppose i am keeping here magnet strong magnet here then this iron nail by releasing out it should not fall down it should move towards the magnet why because electrostatic force of attraction or this magnetic force of attraction is more powerful than gravitational force now same way in the nucleus two protons are combining together reason is that there must be some greater force existing which is much more powerful than electromagnetic force and scientist uh now realize this type of force must be there they named it as nuclear force so this way because of this nuclear chemistry third question or third force uh, sorry to answer this third force is developed or we realize that there is third type of force this is also considered as fundamental force that is called as nuclear force now we realize that there is no nuclear force there are nuclear forces but here we can consider nuclear force is much more stronger in magnitude than electrostatic force and therefore a uh, proton and proton get attracted towards each other why they get attracted towards each other because of nuclear forces practically speaking uh, inside nucleus there are three different interactions the force between proton and proton or interaction between proton and proton interaction between proton and neutron and interaction between neutron and neutron out of that this force is considered as very very strong attractive force because uh, we have this type of atom existing this is h12 this is actually isotope of hydrogen we are calling it as deuterium so it is many time represented as capital d so d12 mass number minus atomic number is number of neutron so this consisting of one proton and one no neutron should be given by small side letter actually so it is one proton and one neutron so there is existing nature that one proton and one neutron stays together now here two proton so atomic number should be two that means it is helium and mass number should be two this type of isotope is not yet discovered as per my knowledge suppose you are having evidence then all right but uh, two protons then it must be helium so this is not existing particle but you are aware that he 23 and he 24 are existing in nature he 24 is stable isotope of helium whereas he 23 is important isotope of helium uh, but it is existing practically speaking so here uh, three means one proton is there so in this case one proton and uh, sorry uh, one neutron and two proton whereas here two neutron and two proton so when there is neutron is going to add here then it is there so we are considering proton neutron nuclear force is very very strong and it is of attractive in nature 
and this way neutron helps nucleus to stabilize whereas two neutrons together like that particles are not existing neutron remains single and this way we can say these forces are not that strong attractive in nature but proton neutron forces are very very strong attractive in nature we got evidence of uh, deuterium 1 2 so this is about uh, nuclear forces so nuclear forces i can say this way very very strong forces or with our present knowledge they are the strongest forces fundamental forces even stronger than electrostatic force of attraction or repulsion their magnitude is very very high but their range is very very low they are coming in existence particularly when distance between two particles is less than 10 raised to minus 12 meters if distance between two particles is less than 10 raised to minus 12 meter then only this uh, forces are having existence and in order to get effective it should be even less than 10 raised to minus 12 meter then only it is having effectiveness effectiveness and existence are different but in order to get existence they are having existence uh, around 10 raised to minus 12 meter but they are practically effective when distance between two particles is even less than 10 raised to minus 15 meters that's why electron revolving around nucleus is not falling inside nucleus with some exceptions there are some electron capture reaction but right now it is not our uh, topic so electron falling uh, sorry electron revolving around nucleus is not falling in the nucleus because that electron is revolving with greater orbit than 10 raised to minus 12 meter whereas if it is less than that then nuclear forces are having existence now what is exact nature of nuclear forces it is given by japanese scientist dr hideki yukawa i am saying again a uh, japanese scientist great scientist named as dr hideki yukawa he uh, was able to give exact how these nuclear forces works for that purpose he assumed a particle that is called as pi meson is present in the nucleus what he gave name as pi meson again question is there why this pi letter is used for that purpose we have to go to organic chemistry try to recollect benzene structure in structure of benzene we discuss that um, this ring is there this ring is there because of delocalized p orbital they are called as p pi orbital supposed to be as we discuss in that structure try to recollect that lecture again that this is the probable structure of benzene ring as well as this is the probable structure of benzene ring so here the position of bond is single here double here double bond and here single so like that position of bond is changing out so this is also structure and this is also structure we are calling this as resonating structure at that time pi orbitals are delocalized and we are showing this structure in order to show this structure we are showing this way this is delocalized p pi orbitals that gives stability for benzene and that's why double bond reactions are not shown by benzene as it should be there so some sort of that stability is given by this particle so dr hideki yukawa term these particles as pi meson